honestly don't even know how to handle myself while eat now. I am so ecstatic. My cats are scratching at my door right now because I locked them out because they wouldn't stop climbing all over my shit. And now they're being annoying. You just, you can't win with animals. You really, really can't. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Kate and if you read the title, which I'm assuming you did because you clicked on this video and you want to watch my reaction, then you know we're reacting to August D's pre-release track, People Part 2 featuring IU. It is currently 11.51, so it comes out in nine minutes. Uh, like I said, it's a pre-release track to his album, which comes out in two weeks on April 21st. And then he goes right on the tour right after that, which I'm going to. I'm going to see him in new work. I'm so excited. Um, like I said, it's featuring IU, which they collaborated about like two years ago in like 2020, I think it was, on Eight, which is a song off of uh, IU's album. It was a great song. It topped the charts. It was a huge hit. Um, IU is huge in Korea. She is an amazing singer, an amazing vocalist, an amazing writer. So I have a lot of high hopes for this song. And if you guys know me, then you know I am a sugar bias. He is my favorite. I love them all, obviously, but I just connect with August D's solo music on just like a different level. But before we get into the video, if you guys could like and subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. If you have other music, other artists, other, you know, behind the scenes videos, whatever it may be, leave a comment down below. I'll add it to my list. I'm more than happy to do it. I am going to try to follow his promotion schedule um, and react to as much as I can. Um, August D is, or Suga, is very known for just like dropping shit and not telling anyone, kind of like this song. I mean, he didn't have any teasers. He didn't have any notice outside of Korean media releases. So it's kind of like, I'll react to it, but I can't say it's going to be up within 24 hours because it really comes down to when I can sit down and record it and when he drops it. So I hope you guys liked the video. I'm so excited. Let's get into it. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's gonna ruin me. So Like I wanna get right through it, but I can't. Hold on. Cause this chorus is in English. <laughs> I'm like not registering it.
슬픈 걸까 사실은 두려움이 큰 거죠 한결 이래 그리던 우리는 없고 싸운 모래성들을 부셔버린 것은 우린 걸 승패가 없는 게임이라지만 난 언제나 게임 루저 모든 걸 주겠다던 우리 모든 것을 부셔 떠나지 사랑이던 사람이 모두가 이기적이기 때문이야 So far away and gone Can you fly away? Too far away and gone I know I have to know This is one of those songs that I'm going to have to really listen to more. Like, obviously, I'm going to listen to a whole bunch, but I really need to sit down and just read these lyrics because it it clearly tells a story and it's an, it's an important song and an emotional song. And I... Anytime I listen to Yoongi, he always... Hit, like this is why he's my favorite and why he's my bias because he just makes me feel something with his music that I, I don't think I've experienced before um, and I think a lot of it is because the way he thinks the way he puts his words together the way he what he talks about the subjects they all relate so much to me and my personal life and my personal thoughts um and to find an artist that does that for you is extremely important and in in a rarity. Before BTS, I never got in to like an artist. I was never a fan of anyone. Um, obviously, I was a casual listener and I listened to music, but I was never a fan. I never was somebody that like followed any musician. I wasn't. I was never a fan of like One Direction. I never went through all those like you know, boy bands, and I was nothing. I was never a fan of any musician to where I could be like, ooh, I am a fan of theirs. I'm going to support them until BTS and until Suga specifically first. Um, I found him, and then I found the rest of the group. Um, and I just, I, I'm, I'm going to have to sit down. I'm going to have to process. I'm going to have to read through all of this to get a full grasp of it. Um, it's a beautiful song, um, and I, I kind of see why he didn't do teasers and he didn't do um, like all the normal promotional stuff for this song because it's not that type of song. It, it's a pre-release, but it's not. 
it's not set me free by Jimin. Like, it's not this big, out like, outlandish and just you know, performance heavy and just a kind of song. It's a, it's an almost an intro into the album, if that makes sense. And it's just very personal to him. And I want to do it justice by reading the lyrics and doing all of that. So I'm going to know and go now and do that on like my own time. Um, but please support this song and please support Suga. He his album comes out in two weeks. Um, I'm sure we'll get more promotional stuff leading up to his album, um, and his documentary comes out also same day. I'll be reacting to both of them. I think the documentary will be on my Patreon though. Um, there's a link below for that if you would like to watch that. Um, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.